Right, well here we are uh, back at uh, Dartmoor. I'll just do uh, uh, Sowerton Tour is uh, approximately in that direction. You can see it from here. I've just uh, topped up some uh, water down here and uh, used some Acromira just to purify it. I only put a couple of drops in, just more on the safe side than uh, anything else. may not be needed here, to be honest. And uh, the main reason why I wanted to uh, uh, just do a film here, or, or start one here, was uh, just realised one of the uh, compensating knobs was up first. I've put on uh, on Bess her cooling coat. This may not be the easiest way of uh, doing it. Bess, come here Bess. Come on. Down here. So, I just uh, pour water, sorry. I was hoping this was going to be uh, easy to do. I'm trying to look at where I'm putting the water and half on the screen. And the idea is you just uh, soak the coat for a shake so I just move the camera away. Yeah, so that's uh, that's the uh, coat soaked in uh, some water, so that will help uh, keep her cool. Now I'll just uh, clamber up here. Catch you, uh, catch you again soon. Make the hat get the sun off. Right, well we've got, uh, I'm sitting at Dinger Tor, I just had something to eat, water, uh, that's High Will Haze and Yes Tor, you can't see Yes Tor but it's over that way, I didn't go there, I came around the back of it, um, you may just see on the horizon Kitty Tor over there. That big mound right in the middle, that's uh, a great knee set, and then little knee set is the, uh, is the other side of that. And you can see Vertor in the distance. And at the moment the time is, it's just gone quarter past one. I've got Bess here and I've got some trees and just put them there for her to eat. Just had a drop of water just over there. 
I won't, I'll show you where she went just over there, literally, but there's not much to look at. There's a puddle. But she had a little drink over there. And then when we get down to the base of Great Neset, which is about a kilometre away, there's a, a stream or a river down there that we'll have to cross so we can best get a drink. Um, you know, more of a drink there, and I'll fill up my uh, fill up my water bottles there. Right, this is a little ford that we're going to have to cross. I'll try and cross with the camera if I can. Uh, that's uh, that's a uh, great knee set up there. So go on, Beth. Come on, come on, Beth. Excuse if the camera goes a bit wonky because I'm trying to really concentrate on where my feet are going. I'm not sure I've ever come across this way actually. I've always gone over a little bit further up and sort of jumped across. I think this is alright for summer. Oop. This is alright for summer or spring or autumn, but I'm not sure I'd want to cross that in winter. In the winter, there's a... I think you can sort of jump across a little bit further up that way. And then if you jump across over there, then you should be able to still pick up that path over there for uh, dinger. If you're going to Dinger, of course, if you're coming the opposite direction, then you do the opposite, of course. <sighs> My first, first, uh, first laugh of the day. Right, so we're drawing this, uh, drawing this path here, and uh, head up, head up this, this hill up here. tour in that direction. I'll see you tomorrow, Gizzy. And that is a great knee set. So that's where we are. Just down here, I've uh, got my uh, roll, which I can put under my bed if I need it later. And uh, let me just get my shadow out of the way. And I've brought the uh, tripod, which I always do and, and never use, but I think it's best to, to bring it on the off chance. And then I've got a notepad in there, my book, and the sat lap. If I uh, come over here, we've got Bess asleep. She's had some food. Time is now 4.30. So we still have several more hours of daylight. I'll try and have a read later. Uh, that's Bess's pack. I've only taken a couple of things out of it uh, today. I don't think I need much. Uh, what we've got uh, here... Uh, I've put Bess's... Let's use the little zoom. Uh, that's Bess's bed over there with her food and my rucksack I've just placed at the back out the way. Uh, at the front here I've just got a sheet of Cuban to sit on if I want to sit on it outside or for kneeling on getting in and out. This is a little bit tighter getting in and out of the Cuban trail star than the still nylon trail star, I think. Although that, that wasn't that easy either, so there's not a lot in it. I haven't set my food up yet, but that's the food packages there. And obviously one water there, and then I've got the other water there. I've got the trail star pretty tight, it's not uh, absolutely perfect. 
but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, right, what have we got in here? I'll take my hat off for a minute. What have we got in here? So, uh, that's a rubbish bag. That's a bug head net. And that's uh, bags to put my feet in, which I'm hoping to uh, replace sometime in the near future with something from Sean. Don't really need that at the moment, but I thought well, I'll bring them just in case I don't weigh anything. That's the bag with my food in. I might show you that later on. I've set up the uh, quilt on top of the climate because it's so warm. I thought I'd try the climate and that's the climate XL and the uh, X pad pillow is there. Um, and I've just put my waterproof trousers under there, just out the way really. I think there's a minuscule decline, not incline, decline sort of towards the head. I, I think the head is down just a tiny fraction, but I don't think it's much, so hopefully that won't matter. Um, and then over here, that's my repair pouch. And then I've got two pouches with clothing in, uh, which I'm probably not going to need. And then that's a bag which has the uh, bug bivy in, just in case bugs become a problem. And then over there is my waterproof coat, which I'm not going to need. First aid kit. And uh, that's just a little package with some tissues in. Um, a toothpaste. I haven't used that yet, but uh, again, I bring it. Uh, I just just a bit of soap, just general things for cleaning if if I need it. And then this is the uh, TechNet battery charger for the phone. So that's uh, inside. I might open up those parcels or packages later on so you can see them. Uh, if I do it all now, I won't have anything to do later on. So, uh, about ten past six now. I've had something to eat and a cup of tea. And, uh, I'll show you Bess. She's, uh, completely flopped out. Very chilled and relaxed. So I'll just, uh, stop that. Right, so... I was just going to show you what's in my pouches. So I won't open this one because that's the bug bivy and you've seen that in just one or two videos. So I'm uh, sitting on my little bit of Cuban fiber stuff here but uh taken my uh shoes and socks off, just to let my feet breathe a little bit. Just uh, bear in mind that I uh, probably have packed a lot more than I will need. That's spare dry socks, so if my feet get cold or cool off during the night then I've got, then they're just liner socks, and I've got those to, uh, to wear. I brought a uh, a buff, just a just a light buff. That could be a warm hat or a scarf. Don't think I can't imagine I need it, but I thought better to bring. A um, pair of um, very lightweight North Face leggings. Again, may not need. May put them on. I'll, I'll see. And uh, my. Uh, Arcteryx, sort of, it's a shirt of some description. I can't remember uh, what this one's called now. I don't very often uh, wear it, to be honest. I've had it many years, and I take it on most trips and don't wear it very often. So it's more of an emergency uh, item, just in case I just need an extra layer. But talking of layers, 
one thing I am not going to do is get cold. So I've got another uh, stuff bag, dry bag here. And in this bag, I've got uh, a chocolate fish uh, merino t-shirt. I only put that in, to be honest, because I normally uh, wear the t-shirt. Um, but it's so warm today, I knew I wouldn't need to wear it. So I thought, well, if I'd started wearing it, I was going to end up carrying it anyway. So I thought, well, I may as well just bring it to be safe. And then the other layer I've brought is a chocolate fish merino long sleeved top. Um, sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. So I know I've brought a lot more than is ever going to be needed, especially with the forecast, which I had checked beforehand. Uh, let's angle that. Yeah, I checked the forecast beforehand. And uh, it was a very good, very, very warm, good forecast. But I'd, I'd already decided to put those extra clothing items in. Oh, and then the other clothing item I have, apart from the waterproof, is my wind shirt. My Arcteryx Squamish wind shirt. And again, I haven't needed to wear that. A bit grubby, though. Anyway, it must have touched something. So, yeah, so that's my clothing items. And uh, I'll probably try and do another video later on, perhaps. Well, Bess is still asleep. Time is now just on seven, ten past seven. few sheep around. Temperature when I looked earlier was about 19 degrees. As you can see I've wrapped myself up. I've just put this, uh, the Acteryx top on that I showed you earlier. Um, I must have been with the sun. I need the hat and my glasses to keep the sun sun off off my uh, head and at my eyes poor little eyes but there's a breeze a little breeze and uh, the breeze is uh, is not cold by any means it's just cool so that's why I just put this on uh, so I've uh, been having a little read try the little zoom so I've, I've had a read and I've my shoes and socks are there drying. I guess it's that way. <laughs> Twelve minutes past, so that's another minute used. <laughs> now I, I'm I'm a bit more relaxed now. I was a bit a bit het up earlier, I think. I think I've got to the stage now where. I'm not going anywhere, so I'm going to start to uh, start to try and enjoy it now. I'll try not to think about sort of getting up and going or get packing sort of seven o'clock tomorrow morning in twelve hours. Uh, there's only one of me, but uh, I hope this uh, just gives you a bit of a, a view around here. Oh, I'll just show you what I'm sitting on. This is quite nice actually. Of course this is exactly the same spot that I've camped on all the other places. But it's a lovely pile of stones and it's uh I've just put that uh roll there and that's ideal for sitting on. So uh Right, it's uh, nine o'clock and uh, the sun is uh, just uh, going down. So that's my sunset picture for the night. I'm in bed now and I'm not getting up again unless I need the loo, which I probably will do later. So that's a sunset. 
<coughs> that's uh, that's best. I've got the bug bivy set up. <coughs> I've taken my uh, hat off at last. Get that on most of the time. Although at the moment I've still got my glasses on. Still quite bright. Not sure if you can. Uh, there's one that looks like a little bug thing. And then I think there's another one there. This is well, I'm, uh, the, these things aren't at home. Because uh, if they were at home, I'd be uh, after them. But there's not much I can do about them here. I can't really splat them against the uh, Cuban. So uh, that's what we're that's what we're looking at. And giz is that way. That's what we're that's what we're looking at. And giz is that way. <laughs> <laughs> There's another little bug coming in. You can just see them. I don't know if they if that's focusing on them, but they're swirling around outside, They're just waiting to come in, I think. So I probably will uh do this bug bivy up. As I say, I've got it all set up and ready. I've got the uh, um, quilt uh, in and the uh, climate. At the moment, I'm very warm. I've still got my. I didn't. Haven't taken my trousers off. Oh, better look at me, I suppose. Um, oh, there you are. Yeah, I haven't taken my trousers off, and I've kept my Arc'teryx top on. But I might take this off before I. Uh, snuggle down for the night, but I might leave, probably leave my trousers on because uh, I've left the mat here. So if I get cold, I can put that underneath me, but uh, probably won't need it. We'll see how it goes. See, no, no signal, oh, gone, no signal, it's really bad here, one minute, you know, you get something and then you don't, I've not had anything for over an hour now, so I'm just charging it up with, uh, with the tech net, net, tech net. Just thought I'd, uh, Film this. It's uh, obviously through the cube. I don't know what you can see <clears throat> through there. Bess is uh, first asleep. Not sure how well that's going to uh, come out. But you can see the uh, that red flashing is a aerial mast of some description. And that is obviously the moon. And I am still here. I haven't uh, deserted my post or anything. 
Time is now quarter past ten. I must admit, it's quite nippy out here. So even I've got th uh, one, two, I've got three layers on, but oh, I must admit, it is cool. I think it was about 11 degrees. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I think it was about 11 degrees in the uh, in the trail star. So it's probably about 11 out here, but it I must admit it feels nippy. So I'm not going to hang around too much longer. Not out here anyway. Right, well it's morning. Oh, go back. Go back. Bed. Bed. Look out. Half past five in the morning. Uh, not quite sure where the sun's going to come up from somewhere. Seems to be light in that direction, but that's the north. Anyway, time will... Oh, because of course it went down <clears throat> over there. So it can't, it can't be coming up the same place it went down. I thought it would have been uh, coming up in that direction. I mean, it looks quite bright over there as well. I haven't been outside, so I haven't... Uh, it's supposed to come up in the west. East, I mean, sorry. East. That's east. So that's the nor north up there. So I uh, had a good night's sleep. Slept okay. Didn't hear too many bugs. Half asleep at the moment. I've had some food. Um, I did up some porridge. And I've had a cup of tea. So, <clears throat> it's a bit early to be getting going just yet, but I'll probably start packing up soon, I expect. The climate mat was okay. I wouldn't really recommend it to go with a quilt. It's uh, stuck. It stuck to me a lot, and it was a bit of a pain, to be honest with the quilt. I think with a sleeping bag it would probably be fine but it's, it's it was never designed for a quilt <clears throat> so I think we'll scrub that, uh, that idea with the quilt but it was worth trying and so I've got three layers on and uh, I was just about warm enough and the temperature well at the moment is uh, 8.8 .8. I did notice uh, an 11 degrees when I woke up but I'm not sure how uh, it's, it's gone down to 8 so 8, 8 seems to be the temperature at the moment
Press. 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 Stay. That's enough modelling, she says. Let's press again. So, just uh, whoop, walk you around <coughs> here. I'm not quite sure what you can see. I put my hat and glasses on. The temperature uh, when I looked just now was 17 degrees so it's warmed up nearly 10 degrees already so it's uh, quite warm yeah it's 17 degrees at the moment but uh, so that's where we are now so I've just got to take this down so I started packing at about 6, which was about an hour earlier than last week, so last month. So uh, it seems to take about an hour and a quarter uh, to get everything down, because I was gone by about quarter past last time. So uh, it's nearly quarter past now, so it's going to take it's taken a little bit longer this time. But I think I've been a little bit more relaxed in packing, albeit an hour earlier. As I say, it's uh, uh, this stage last time it was uh, quarter past eight and it's now only quarter past seven. And that's the view. I think it would have been too hot to stay in bed anyway. Once that sun came up, I think I would have cooked. One uh, horse or pony over there, you can just see its calf. You may not actually be able to see it from there, I'm not sure. <coughs> <coughs> so, uh, so I may do another video, but if not, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's not too long for you. And, uh, you know, thank you for watching. And thank you for your patience. Bye.